Hey boys, what's poppin? Amber here after a long vacation, but now we back strong, capable, and gay. Yes, no, no gay. Anyways, today we have a video, a great one. It is going to be about changing your Epic Games email. That's right, the season is about to end and some of you might want to have a fresh start with a fresh new email since the new season is just around the corner. Now I'm going to be showing you a couple of ways you can do this. Yes, you also might be able to retrieve your lost account this way, but more on that later in the video. Now the first way to do this that I'm going to show you is instant, meaning you'll instantly be able to change your email, but the method for people that cannot log into their account, it might take some time, so keep that in mind. And just before we begin, make sure to support your boy in the item shop by typing in creator code Amber. <laughs> Hey, hey, I think I deserved it. Much love. Let's get right into it now. All right, so here we are on the desktop. Yes, I do have the most popular background ever. Don't judge me, it's okay. First things first, you're gonna need an internet browser. I have Google Chrome. I guess most of you are using Google Chrome. I mean, it makes sense. Anyways, even if you're not using Google Chrome, what you need is a Google search engine. So just type in google.com. When you get the Google search engine, what you want to type in in the search bar is Epic Games. Simple as that. This page will pop up. You'll, you'll be able to scroll, see the news, whatever. What you want to click on is Epic Games Store official site, which is their official website. Go figure. Haha, <laughs> XD. Next step sign in all right so you guys will see this button on the top right saying sign in you want to click there pretty much and sign in with whatever you're using so if you just want to normally sign in just click on sign in with epic games if you created your account and linked it with google sign in with google also works same goes if you're using xbox you want to click on sign in with xbox live and if you're playing on ps4 or whatever sign in with playstation will work for you all right so i'm gonna sign in with epic account so give me a second i'm not gonna leak my email again it's fine i get it and now we're gonna click on login now whoa wait i never got this before it's a capture challenge touch the arrow to roll the ball i guess i'm supposed to roll it yeah but this dog kind of looks messed up man what is this back it's so curvy, you don't even know. All right, so if you get this message, do not be afraid. This means that you have a two-factor authentication. And what you need to do right now is go to your email address and paste the code that you get there. You'll get an email from Epic Games. Paste the code that you get there here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. After you pasted your code, you'll go back to the same page we've started at. And uh, this doesn't mean you did not log in. It actually means you logged in. And the way you can see that is by basically be able to see your name on the top right instead of sign in, right? So just hover with your mouse over your name, click on account. And this white page will open up that's kind of burning my eyes out. This white page will open up. Um, I guess there is no way to go dark mode, but anyways... It's pretty simple. All you gotta do is you see on account info, this box on the right saying email address. What you wanna click on is this blue block with a pencil. You wanna click on there and just type in your new email address. As you guys can see here, there's a note saying a security code verification is required to make this change. You will not be able to change this email address again for 90 days after this change is saved to this account. So, what that means is that you won't be able to change your email again for three months, about three months that is. And yeah, that's basically that. So as I said, what you wanna type here is your new email address. Then you're going to get a code on your email again, just as you did when you did the two-factor authentication, if you have that enabled that is. And it's same procedure basically. Anyways, now we're going to talk about those people that cannot log in like we just did because either they don't know their password, like they forgot it, or their account has been stolen from them. Now bear with me, my friends. So this might take some time, all right? Reason being is that to get our accounts back, we need to get in touch with Epic Game Support themselves. Why, you might ask? Because you cannot just physically bring your account back. You cannot work for it or something. In the next bit, I'm going to show you how to do that and what to type. But before I do, I want to answer some of the questions that I see a lot. First one, obviously, a lot of kids are going to spam. Can you steal someone's account like this? And the answer is 100% no. And you shouldn't be doing that at all since it's a cybercrime. So before you start thinking about stealing Epic Games accounts, 
think twice. Anyways, yeah, as I said, there is no way to steal someone's account like this because Epic Games support are very good at what they do and they'll instantly know if you're telling the truth or lying based on the database of info they have about the account that you submitted a ticket for. Yes, that's right. They know everything. And you're basically here to prove that you own that account. It's not just going to get handed to you. Anyways, I'll answer more questions after I show you how to do this thing so I don't waste your guys' time. Let's get into it. So just make sure you're on the front page again of epicgames.com. You can just follow the steps we did to get to here, I guess. You don't need to be logged in, so I can just sign out, I guess, for a pure example purpose. I signed out, as you guys can see. By the way, follow me on Twitter, please. Okay, so uh, click on help. At the top left, you'll see it just as I did. Now you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see what product can we help you with. Usually people will click on Fortnite, but actually click on Epic Games Store. Now you're gonna get to this page saying Epic Games Store. Now we're going to get on this page saying Epic Games Store. Um, anyways, what you're gonna do is scroll all the way down to can't find what you're looking for question mark and you're gonna click there. Um, anyways, you get to this page where it says we're here to help. If you already have an account, please log in for better response quality and speed. Thank you. You're going to click on I can't log in. Afterwards, you're going to get to this bit where it says I can't log into my Epic Games account. Uh, they're going to give you some of the steps you can take, which you definitely should before continuing this step. So as you guys can see here, you can reset your password. Um, this is about not receiving the two factor authentication codes. This is if you cannot access your email, but you still have your linked accounts, you can also log in that way. And if you still cannot log in, which is what I suppose your situation is, after trying all of these things, you still cannot log in. You're going to click right here, contact our support team. Now you get to this page, where as I said before, you need to provide as much info as you can. This is a new thing. They did not have this before, but yeah, now they have it. And this is basically the new method. So it's pretty self-explanatory here. They literally explain everything. They even say the more we know, the more quickly we can help you. And that's basically how you can prove that that account is actually yours. So just type in as much as you can. Do not be lazy and answer the questions properly and directly. That's my advice. So first display name. Type in the display name, the email address, approximate account creation date, when did you create your account, approximate last login date. You should probably type in when did you lose account here, or like what's the last time you logged in, right? And that is pretty much it, guys. If you are somebody of a younger age, I'd advise you to get your parents. They can probably provide a bit more evidence because at some point you also need to um, give your purchase history, last three digits of credit card number and so on. So you're going to need your parent for this as well well if you're younger and stuff and i'm pretty sure they can be more professional in this form and i think that's what's required in order for you to be taken seriously right because they have thousands of requests anyways that was it thank you guys so much for watching if you did not understand something just comment it down below don't forget to use your boys creator code and um yeah thank you so much for watching peace out too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so much.